joined now by Mark Murray, who is the senior political editor for NBC News. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we'll start with this. Senator Collins obviously has been weighing where she'll have the most impact. To you, as a senior senator, is that even a question? Well, you know, again, what she ends up deciding to do tomorrow, I think, has been a very big mystery here in Washington, D.C. I've ended up surveying a lot of Republican operatives who either work in the Senate, uh, work uh, in gubernatorial kind of campaigns, work in the campaign world, and they seem to be split on what she just wants to do. Uh, some people b believe that she might run for governor just because why else would you be holding a press conference if you were going to decide to stay in the United States Senate? Others do believe that she'd have a bigger impact impact still serving in the United States Senate just kind of given how crucial her vote is on matters like health care and tax reform. Uh, but to me the biggest implication is if she decides to actually run for governor that of course would create an open Senate seat in 2020 all with the balance of power in the United States Senate potentially on the line. You covered a lot of things there, Mark, so let's start with this one. She obviously is a moderate Republican. If she did leave the Senate, what would that kind of look like in the Senate? Would that cause a shift at all? Well, and a lot of it depends on whether she decides, if she runs for governor, would she end up keeping her Senate seat at least for a while? Uh, it is very possible that she might immediately resign, and then you have Governor LePage appoint an ally to her seat, which that would potentially make that a much more conservative seat and put you know the uh, future of the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare back in play. Uh, there is the potential that uh, she might end up staying in the Senate and run as an, uh, an independent for governor. Uh, and so there's so many different kind of, I uh, think, parts of the equation uh, that uh, all of us are just kind of waiting to see what she actually announces tomorrow because whatever she does, I think, has very big implications in your state and also here in Washington, D.C. We will see what happens. Mark, thank you so much for joining us.